Welcome back to hashtag why in the morning that is the generic uh, name of this particular program and it's Entrepreneurship Tuesday every single Tuesday at Michelle Ashira is where you can find me across all my social media platform and you can reach out to us on our social media handles that is Y254 channel thank you very much bye for that particular interview on online marketing so let's go to our um, Facebook page we have a question for you we are asking how much do you spend on grooming yourselves that is on salon baba spa and is it worth it make sure you send in all of your thoughts about that and uh, let's just dive in on the whole uh, situation and the topic of the day is all about you, you definitely by now you know it's all about beauty and personal care and understanding that the beauty industry has been one of the fast rising industry from 2014 to 2018 on only gap of four years it had risen from 26 billion to listen to this 100 billion so it's the fast rising industry that keeps on growing every single year and with me is none other than Jerry Gishao uh, who is a trained coach in uh, cosme cosmetology yes. and also the managing director of uh, Trendy Spa, Trendy Spa yes. and uh, Baba Baba yes. in Utawala. Utawala. Thank you very much for coming through. Thank you for having me. So uh, earlier on we were talking and you mentioned you had so many other hats that you wear. So I'd like to for you to take this opportunity and uh, properly uh, mention everything that Nguyen um, Gishao um, does. Oh wow, um, a jack of all trade. Mm -hmm. I, um, I do so many things. I'm an entrepreneur, I can sell anything. Okay. But I choose to major on beauty. That's where my heart is more. Anything beauty goes by me. This is one of the best industries that uh, as Africa and uh, uh, just narrowing it down to Kenya, yeah. which is fast growing, yes? Yes. And uh, now it's over 100 billion uh, and it still goes on and on. So what uh, made uh, you get into this business? Well, I was once upon a time a salesperson. Mm -hmm. okay. Then since I was young, I loved myself so much. Then I realized that I cannot keep someone's rules in terms of how I look because I want to wear the hair I want. I want to have the nail polish, the color I choose, you know. And then I decided to just know one thing or two about beauty. Plus, when I was in college, I did uh, performing arts. Okay. Uh, there was these... Um, people who used to come from the Netherlands and they taught us how to do full body massage and all that. So putting all that together, I decided to just do beauty. Mm. Not really decided, but passion drove me towards that direction. Okay. Yes. And uh, speaking, it sounds so enthusiastic and passionate when talking about uh, the whole process of coming up uh, yes. with something that is still an art, because beauty is all an art, coming up and just showcasing uh, who you were through whatever you like, dress up to be. So how did the trendy spa uh, come to life, or how did you get to work with this? Well, I was... Um, I was employed mm -hmm. before. I only got employed once or twice. Okay. But my last job was very demanding. Like right. I'd go home so late, wake up so early, and one thing led to another. Then I, I thought to myself, why not have my own business so that I can control time, time in terms of what time I go home because I need to see my children and all that. All right. So how does it feel because uh, you've been to the, the, the both worlds of employment and now having a financial, I would like to call it financial freedom and also time freedom. Mm. Uh, okay, <laughs> we'll get there. I'm still <laughs> an expression. So how did you get to the point where like you were in control of your time per se? Uh, how is the two worlds like if you do a comparison? When you're employed, it is very easy. It's a... Uh, mm -hmm. You know, it's liquid, it's flowing like water because oh you don't right. care uh, whether the bills are paid. All you need to do is to report on time and all that. Oh, yeah. But the misconception a lot of people have is that when you start your own business, then you have all this time for yourself. Mm. Trust me, since I started my own business, mm -hmm. I go home much later than I used to. I have to be, you know, more at work, really have... Mm -hmm 
off days and all that because I have to manage my employees, I have to manage, you know, the business. All right. So I can't say that there is much freedom of time. So that's a very huge misconception people have. Yes. That if you're once boss, that you get most of the freedom, but you yes. actually you, you work. think you become the head, like you're the one to think about every decision the company mm -hmm. has to take when you want to branch. Because now when you start, when I started my first branch, mm -hmm. now you get inspired by your first branch, you need to upgrade. Okay. Then you realize the space you have is small, you need to upgrade to another bigger space and all that, which means more employees, more of your time and all that. Yes, and speaking about more spacious spaces that is on trending uh, as spa. Yeah. So, uh, Let's talk about the kind of services that uh, the spa offers. Well, we offer all, all beauty services mm -hmm. apart from plastic services. We have oh. plastic beauty that is, mm -hmm. you know, when you want to do, to tattoo your lipstick oh, and to the color you want to. Yes, skin. yes. Okay. But these other things, when it comes to nail technology, hairdressing, massages, uh, facials, and all any other body care needs we do. Okay. Yeah. All right, so we talked earlier on uh, on you mentoring young people who are coming into uh, the beauty space. And uh, one of the things that I would like to find out, what kind of, uh, what kind of management style do you have uh, in, your, in, your own, in your own company? Are you, well, uh, you know, like that cop who is always on the look look looking out on the people, if their people are actually doing things on the right way or do you prefer just uh, making sure that uh, even after the, your workers actually put in the work you would like to like counter check the thing? First of all, um, how I mentor young people is when they come to work, mm -hmm. it is very unfortunate that in Kenya the beauty uh, beauty and cosmetology schools that we mm -hmm. have around, they are giving us raw products. Okay. All these people who are graduating from most of these beauty schools, mm -hmm. when you employ them, it's like a half-baked product. Oh. So you have to train that person from, uh, from hygiene mm -hmm. to everything to handle themselves. So uh, what I do to mentor them is like, I need these people to be able to manage themselves. Okay. Because most of them, we pay them on commission. Mm -hmm. So they need to understand that they are their own bosses. They control their income. If you're not working, probably you're not making money. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm not the kind of a boss who is so bossy, moving <laughs> around and policing things around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I train my employees to be their own managers. You mentioned something about uh, having employees. You have to like train. You have to actually do the training again, even after from uh, institutions. Yes, that means there are no like uh, hub uh, incubation hubs whereby after they just come from these particular institutions and they get to be uh, trained in a situation whereby they gain more experience before they are ready for the market work work market. They do go for internship, okay. but I wonder how they do the internships. Okay, so that is where because the question before, is. Before they graduate, mm -hmm. they have to go for an internship and then they go back and graduate. Mm -hmm. But still, it's not up to the standard that employees would expect. And that's why you're seeing people who are opening new branches, they're poaching, uh, they're poaching employees mm -hmm. because they're, uh, they're really not sure about um, where they're going to get, you know, um, much and more qualified employees to work in their company. So you find those who are coming up with new branches, the only solution they have is to poach. All right. Yeah. Okay, so what would you give, uh, what would be your advice for someone who is looking forward to get into uh, this kind of industry that probably he or she is pursuing a course and or looking for an internship or how can they even reach out to you because i'm listening to you and i feel like uh, you have nuggets of wisdom they can actually acquire from well they can reach me through my facebook page mm -hmm. trendy spa or um my instagram page mm -hmm. trendy spa utawala and what i can tell people who are now starting up uh, now maybe those who are graduating right now oh, yes they need to get serious with their work. Mm -hmm. Beauty is paying and paying well. 
So when you get an opportunity to work, mm -hmm. stop messing around and just, you know, playing around, like treating your work like it's, you know, it's not, uh, it does not matter. Okay. Beauty matters because even you right now, you needed to do your makeup, you needed to do your nails. Mm -hmm. So beauty pays and everyone who's graduating, they should take it seriously, just like the way surgeons take their work. Do you feel like uh, it's an industry where people don't take it with lots of seriousness? Yes. Uh, they just take it lightly? Yes, not, not our clients. Mm -hmm. The clients really take it so seriously. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, the employees, oh, okay. they don't take it with that uh, much required seriousness. Okay, so what are some of the challenges of uh, uh, to unlock the beauty uh, market, the, the potential that is still there? Um, right now, I would say that the government mm -hmm. is kind of overtaxing everything. Okay. So when you're going to buy your products, every date is hiked. Every mm -hmm. date is hiked and the sellers, they have all these reasons. Oh, it's the port, it's words, the government, the licenses and mm -hmm. all that. Um, I think um, um, and when all that is hiked up, okay. it is very hard when you're giving service mm -hmm. to hike prices to your clients. All right. Yeah. So that's one challenge. Another is now that one of having half-baked um, people oh, who are okay. coming to look for work. Oh, why? Yes. So for the longest period of time, uh, I know you don't deal with cosmetics, right? But the global uh, international, sorry, the international um, uh, media markets, yeah. they have portrayed a storyline about a certain image of, of particular kind of section of women being beautiful and they've sold out uh, their products through the the skin whitening and the whole uh, process of it. Have you ever uh, have a client uh, who has come with the notion like uh, I am looking forward to probably change how I look or my skin color just because there's that notion of w what day. beauty beauty every looks like day, every day mm -hmm. every day women have women have endless insecurities they will see this woman they want to look like that they will see you know so every time they come but I don't judge them and I don't also stop them so if you want to lighten your skin <laughs> that's up to you I don't judge them whatever makes you feel comfortable mm -hmm. or whatever you know boost your self-esteem mm -hmm. you know it's your personal choice okay. yeah uh, but trending spa doesn't offer such uh, no, cosmetic <laughs> but we can refer people oh yeah we refer right. people if we know people who do those things we refer them to those uh, okay. yeah so and uh, the trending trending spa there's also yeah. the section for the gentleman yes in terms of grooming and everything that goes about it yes. so uh, for the many years uh, the gentlemen have not taken up the aspect of grooming that seriously but they know the the whole situation is changing yes. uh, with the decades coming in so there's a new era of men who actually care yes. how they look and how they want to be perceived in terms of their looks. So what is your take on, uh, what are the, some of the clients that you get to as your spa and you feel well, like? Well, um, my spa really, my clientele is, okay, we, we have, we serve all, you know, all ages, but I can tell you for a fact, no one want to look old. Everyone nowadays want to seem as young as they can be as young as they can look. So you'll find that there are so many men mm -hmm. spending in barber shops nowadays okay. on their looks. All right. Yeah. So uh, right now I would like you to take this opportunity for guys back at home so that uh, we'll ch just check like, let's check out, oh wow, well, there it is, Instagram. This yeah. is your own Instagram page. Yeah, that's my Instagram page. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, so it's Trendy uh, Spa Utawala on Instagram. Yeah. What about Facebook? Trendy Spa. Ah, trendy spa. Yes. Okay, there it is. Nice braids and lines, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so are we allowed to mention the rating cards on uh, how you rate your, your services? Uh, people should just come to you and you'll, uh, and you'll just uh, tell them how everything and every, every service cost. Um... I think like, they should just follow, then you yes, rest they, them. Yes, they yeah. <laughs> Okay, we see there, uh, Tanasha, actually, uh, the celebrity, she's there. Uh, so, ah, oh, these are jelly. Yeah, uh, gel Daniels. nails. Okay, beautiful. Yeah. 
Okay. So people can actually, the ladies can come with their own design and you can uh, Yes. You can make actually, it happen. I'm a guru when it comes to nails. All right. So what? Whatever, whatever. Guru. Yes. Well, okay, that's a nice... Uh, so whatever um, nail artwork you uh, desire, it's a nice thing. It's a nice thing knowing that your uh, ladies, whatever you are, if you have any design that you want it to come to live on your nails, all you have to do is uh, reach out to... We also do weddings. Bantawala. No, you also do weddings. Yeah, yeah we okay. also do weddings. We have okay. a full package of weddings. Like if you want... Um, uh, including the the PA system, the okay. MCs, the mm. um, the, the decor, anything. Okay. So how long have you been into business? You I have been in business. Mm. I have I have been in business for the last three years. Three years. Yes. Wow, this is a lot for three years. Yes. Yeah. The growth good has stuff been going on. amazing. Oh wow! And the reception yeah, from your clients. Yes. How are the referrals? <laughs> Overwhelming. Overwhelming. Yes. Why? So pedicure and manicure, all that, yeah. and a trendy spa utawala. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh, you guys do fox locks. Yeah, we do for locks. Oh. We do for locks. We do fake dreadlocks. We fake do dreadlocks. Everything. All right. All right. Oh, there was a time I wanted fake dreadlocks, but <laughs> what I got as a result. It was something you opposite now. Oh, you should, you should come. come. Yes. Mm. So there it is, guys. So Trendy Spa Utawala is the place to be. For the gentlemen, get groomed up. Uh, they have a space for you guys. Oh, nice braids. Little angels, they also get uh, an opportunity to be all made up. Yeah. Okay, guys, so make sure you follow uh, Trendy Spa Utawala on their Instagram page and uh, Facebook. They'll be. Trendy Spa. Trendy Spa. Okay. Trendy Spa Facebook. Okay. Instagram okay. Trendy Spa Utawala. All right. We have two branches. Mm -hmm. One branch is at the Kimson's Plaza. The other one is at Capital Mall. Okay. Yes. All right. So, uh, guys, that's all we had for you on matters about uh, beauty and personal care. Make sure you keep on the conversation going. That is on our uh, social accounts. That is Facebook, uh, Y254 channel, Instagram, the same, Y254 channel. The hashtag to use is Entrepreneurship Tuesday at Michelle Ashira is where you can find me across all my social media platforms. So make sure you don't touch that dial. Uh, good music coming your way. And uh, till our time frame, which is exactly 10 a.m.